so uh, then uh, we have the maturity levels. So now uh, you, you need to understand three parameter first. OK, one is beam dimensions. That is a different part. Second, we have a beam maturity levels that is somehow different, not completely. I, uh, I mean, and third we have a LOD part like level of development or level of detail. OK, so that is a different part. Now what exactly the beam maturity levels? So still in US or UK people they are, are referring the beam levels itself. Beam maturity levels. OK, with respect to when it was in the level zero, if you see uh, people they are only used to work with the CAD environment. OK, then slightly they moved to level one, then they started with respect to 2D to 3D somehow. Then level two people they introduce this advanced concept 3D, 4D, 5D concept like this. OK, so advanced parameter and level three. It's completely I beam is nothing but the open beam or the cloud beam. Completely AI based integrated. OK, so beam is not limited only for our industry. It may completely varied to the even the advanced like some of the IT technologies like it may be the AI ML the integration. OK, it may uh, in future which will be linked uh, all the data to the no IOTs. They may be the big data, the data analysis. Those things are also possible with respect to your BIM model. Now into this industry, uh, still people are using level two to level three, uh, not more than like. Uh, mostly people are still using this level two only because it is restricted up to the 70. Level three is in somehow project. You, you can see the open BIM standard they have adopted. OK, or this. ISO standard like some BIM standard what we are discussing like ISO 19560 those has been adopted up to the level two. OK, but when we are uh, thinking about the level three, that is completely the kind of a BIM automation part. So that is the advanced uh, level and with respect to this, if you see the levels here. OK, now here if you see we compared uh, level with respect to the dimensions and on this screen with respect to the Collab collaboration means uh, in CAD we are not uh, collaborating with anyone. Only one person is individually working. Once he has completed the work, he are, he is directly handing the work put to the next person. But when we are doing this 3D part or the uh, 4D 5D part, this is completely full collaboration part. Level two, if you see. Now, how exactly the full collaboration? So whatever the things you are working, the X person is working. So that entire data is linked to the cloud model and all the peoples or the all the project participants are also linked to the cloud model. So whatever the things he is working is directly reflected onto the cloud. No need to send the data to individual person. So this is a complete full collaboration and when we are seeing this completely. Advanced beam into the 6D and 7D and further on this is a full integration. Now what why this integration terms comes into the picture? We are integrating something with respect to our BIM model. Now, what we are integrating here, the building performance analysis, then COBIS data, facility management, BMS, AI, digital twin. This is, this is nothing but your complete full integration. So we are integrating something with respect to the existing structure. OK, so you just keep in mind uh, maturity level with respect to the dimensions, how it works and with respect to the integration, how it works.